Hello everyone, this is Jason Huang, and welcome to the class of SCH 301-03's Chemistry Project of 2011. Today, I will be doing my project on topic number 29, sodium azide. We will be studying its properties and its uses inside airbags of automobiles. What is sodium azide? Sodium azide is a colorless, odorless, crystalline salt. Its chemical formula is displayed here, and to the bottom of it is the decomposition reaction of sodium azide. Notice that nitrogen gas is being produced as a product. This substance is highly soluble in water, but is only slightly soluble in alcohol. This is used by the general public in airbag inflation systems for automobiles. And that is because of sodium azide's property of producing nitrogen gas at a very rapid rate. However, there's a risk to this chemical. It possesses a very toxic and explosive property. It is very sensitive to shock and the shock could trigger an explosion. And when I say shock, I'm not talking about an electric shock. I'm actually talking about a sudden impact of force. Before we go on talking about the actual chemical itself, let's talk about the gas laws for a second. The concept that's important in the gas laws is the equation we're going to look at. There are multiple equations developed for the gas laws, but there is one equation that combines the theories and ideas of other equations and combines it into one ideal equation. The equation above shows the combined effort of three scientists who developed their own equations. Those scientists are Boyle, Charles, and Luzac. It is a very simple equation. The terms for the variables are P for pressure, V for volume, and T for temperature. When we observe the equation, we can see that temperature is on the same side as volume on both sides of the equation. This means that the volume of the gas will be proportional with the temperature. Now that we know that, let's look back at sodium azide. I'll start by talking about its explosive property first. Sodium azide can be decomposed when it reaches its decomposition temperature of around 300 degrees Celsius, causing the nitrogen gas to erupt instantly. If we bring back the gas law equation, we can see that at 300 degrees, the volume of nitrogen gas will be very big in proportion to 300 degrees. An explosive reaction can also occur when sodium azide comes in contact with specific metals such as lead and copper. Common methods of handing, handling Chemicals in a lab such as disposing sodium azide down the drain and holding the substance on a metal spatula is not advised. Pouring it down the drain may cause it to come in contact with metals inside the drain networks and will cause an explosion in the systems. And you should avoid the spatula simply because it is metal. I will now move on to sodium azide's uses in airbags. Before we begin, here's a fact on airbags. An airbag can be released at approximately 150 to 200 miles per hour at a time interval of only 0.04 seconds. This shows you how rapid nitrogen gas can be produced and at the speed of which an airbag can hit you if you ever got caught in an automobile accident. An automobile contains an igniter which is used to react with sodium azide. A detonator is installed inside the automobile as well to trigger the igniter on impact of an accident. After the release of nitrogen gas, the residue of sodium oxide will remain for a while before forming into sodium hydroxide with the moist air around its vicinity. Here, I'll show you a video of an airbag detonation in slow motion. In this video, you can see that an igniter will flash, which triggers the airbag to spring out of its holding compartment.
You can also see that there are gas released from the back of the airbag to slowly drain out the gas to make the airbag softer. Here, I'll show you a video of an airbag detonation in real time now. You here, you can really see what a 0.04 second airbag launch can do. Now we'll go back to the toxic and poisonous quality of sodium azide. The toxicity has not disappeared inside an airbag without the help of other chemicals. During the creation of airbags, potassium nitrate and silica were added to negate the effect of toxicity. Harmless sodium silicate is created. Now in the more modern versions of an airbag, compressed nitrogen and argon gas are used instead. And this approach is to provide a less toxic and expensive method of creating airbags. And this concludes the presentation of sodium azide. I hope you've learned something from this video. I will post a link to the handout of the summary of my presentation. And please enjoy the ending video of a very special personal airbag.